What up, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy Decent. It's Wednesday, so you know what that means. Pop Dust presents. Thank you for joining us once again. Today we got a very, very special guest in the building. The show, The Last OG, premiered last night on TBS. The one, the only, Dante Hoagland. What's going on, homie? What's going on, yo? Thank you for stopping by, man. I know you're a busy man. You in demand out here in these streets, you know. So tell the people a little bit about yourself. Oh, um, well, you know, Dante Hoagland. I'm 15, I'm from Jersey, you know, I'm a real cool laid back kid, you uh-huh. know, make sure you follow me on Instagram at the real Dante Hoagland, that's where I mostly be at, mm. you know. Dope, dope, so you're 15 years old. Yeah. You're half my age, but twice as successful as me. <laughs> I mean, but this is about me, this is about you, so <laughs> your show, The mm-hmm. Last OG, yeah. starring Tracy Morgan, Tiffany Haddish, premiered last night on mm-hmm. TBS. By the way, very, very funny show. <laughs> Thank you. So how was that whole experience, you know, how did, how did everything come about? You auditioning, you getting a role, you know, yeah. filming, how did everything come about? Yeah, well, um, I had got the audition process. My manager sent me the audition. Um, I taped it um, the next day, I taped it the next day, and waited a few weeks say I got the job, met everybody, and it was just a dope experience. Everybody's funny, the whole cast is funny. It's non-stop and laughing, you know, everybody's getting motivational speeches every morning, good mornings, you know, everybody just speaks to each other, we're all happy. Yeah, so it's like a real family vibe. Yeah, definitely set. real family. Yeah, so you pretty much had the the privilege of being on set with a whole bunch of legends. You got Tracy Morgan, <laughs> yeah. you got Tiffany Haddish, who's kind of coming into our own the last few mm-hmm. years, you got the, the, the GOAT, the legend, Cedric yeah. the Entertainer. What's it like getting, you know, information about the business in a sense and, you know, all these other nuances that you can add to your arsenal as an up-and-coming actor? I mean, it's, it's always good, you know, to take information from your OG, you know. Mm-hmm. It's always dope, you know, always tend to listen to what they got to say because maybe, you know, you're not really there yet and mm-hmm. you should always listen to your OG. So, you know, Tracy always tells me, you know, to always keep my head in the books. If, you, if I tell my mother um, I want to buy her a house, Go ahead and buy our house. You know, don't even, don't say it and then don't do it. You yeah. know, always do what you, you know, what your dream is. Always accomplish your goals and stuff. Dope, dope. That's really sound advice. And you know, Tracy's been in the business for a long time. So if there's mm-hmm. anybody that you could good, get good information from, it's definitely that. Man. Yeah. So tell us about your character, Shazai. Well, my character Shazai, he plays one of the twins. Um, He's just a mad, cool, laid-back kid. He doesn't really get involved in much. Mm-hmm. You know, he just, you know, really sticks to himself. Yeah. He seems a little bit, you know, tame. Like, yeah. you know, just yeah. like, like you said, laid-back. How much of it is, like, you know, you in that character? I mean, I'd say it's 100% me, you mm-hmm. know, because that's really how I am. In person, I'm just a real cool, laid-back kid. You know, I really don't get into much. You know, I keep a limit of my friends, so. Dope, dope. How's your chemistry with um your sister Taylor Mosby? Oh, that's it's it's good chemistry. You know, we, the first day we had met, bonded, bonded right on scene. You know, so it's definitely mad good chemistry. Yeah, so I noticed like you know kind of like you're more laid back. She's more of the you know mm-hmm. dominating personality. Mm-hmm. Do you have anybody in your life that's kind of like that? You know, whether it be like a, a cousin or a friend that kind of um, takes that big sister role and you know. Kind of like yo, actually have, lock real quick. Actually, have a lot of people that like you know kind of take that big sister role. Mm-hmm. So I have a lot of like friends I consider you know my sisters and junk. So even I have, actually have a sister. So even she kind of you know takes that big sister role and stuff. Even my mom. So <laughs> that's dope. That's dope. So how'd you get your start in acting? Um. Well, my mom has sent an audition tape to my manager Dave, and you know I auditioned for him. Then he signed me. Damn, you make success seem so easy. Here I am on this show working with Dan. And, but once again, this isn't about me. Um, so you've been featured on, you know, Thirty Rock. Mm-hmm. You know, you've done, you know, voiceover. Yep. You know, you've done. You pretty much jumped around a lot in entertainment for being so young. But yeah. your more, I want to say, notable role came last year when you yes. played young Michael Bivens in. Mm-hmm. the new edition story tell us what that experience was like oh, for man. the 100th time <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah the new edition story that was it that was my first really dope role mm-hmm. it really put me out there i was already out there but i wasn't 
Yeah. How far is with that project put yeah. me out there, you know? So that was a real good experience. I met a lot of good people. You know, I still keep in touch with the cast. I keep in touch with Michael. Um, yeah, it, it, the, the dancing was hard. Yeah. The singing was hard. It was... Because you said that you're not a natural dancer. And singer. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was like, what, like maybe six hours of dancing and junk? <laughs> but you pulled it off. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. yeah. I know in regards to the singing and, you know, the dancing, that, a lot of preparation went into that. Mm -hmm. What were some of the other things you did to get more into the role of being Michael Bivens? Well, I actually had to, you know, watch videos of how Michael acted, the way he talked, um, the way his body posture was, the way, you know, he'll say if he was sitting on the couch, the way he laid back on the couch. Mm -hmm. So I would, you know, watch videos of him and the way he, you know, does stuff. Yeah. And of course, I'm pretty sure you hung out with him, sat down, mm -hmm. spoke to him. That mm -hmm. also yeah. got incorporated into how you developed the character in your yeah. head, right? Yeah. And what was some of the advice that you got from, you know, not just New Edition themselves, but, you know, the other actors that, you know, you work with, because you work with veteran actors like Wood Harris. And, yeah. You know, what, what, what was some of the advice that you got from them? Well, from Wood Harris, um, Wood Harris actually told me to never get in, never like, get involved with females never get involved with females well where were you when i needed this advice <laughs> i could have used you at 15 once again not about me go on, go on bro. sorry sorry um and michael michael actually kind of told me the same thing tracy always tells me um you know just stay on track you know you're, you're gonna get big so you know try to force it yeah you have so many people kind of navigating towards this idea of you know just stay on track keep your head down just keep working keep working keep working mm -hmm. And I feel like that's very reassuring for somebody your age because they see something in you already. How does it feel knowing that you have so many people rooting for you so early in your career and they just want to see you succeed? That's dope. It's, it's dope, you know. I got so many people on my side. It's crazy. Yeah. So what's the reception been like from the show premiering last night? I'm pretty sure your social media has been blowing up. I'm pretty sure you're getting calls and text messages from people you met once in your life. Like, yo, remember we met at McDonald's, you know what I'm saying? I'll help the door for you. What's it been like? I mean, it's 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 still chill right now. You know, we're going to let it pop off maybe the second and third eats, um, episode. So, but it's still chill. I did get a couple text messages, a couple calls uh, from my friends telling me I did a good job. Dope, dope, dope. So, Besides the last OG, is there anything you got in the works right now? I mean, nah, not right now, man. I'm hoping season two comes out, you know, we can get back working on that. Would you ever get into doing something along the lines of what you did with the new edition movie where you're singing and dancing in some capacity? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I definitely want to do another biopic. Uh, like, I ain't, I ain't, uh -huh. learned, I ain't learned all you how to <laughs> dance and sing for nothing. Like, yeah, y'all going to book me Broadway something. Uh -huh. <laughs> so do you keep in touch with um any other other cast members um, mm -hmm. like you know Caleb or yeah yeah definitely else? we you know we we have a chat talk mostly every day we'll talk on house party you know we'll send each other videos on Instagram and stuff so yeah because you guys like really just took over in a sense Caleb doing <laughs> his thing on um, Stranger Things and uh, um, guy's name the kid who played Ralph he's on um, yeah he's on um that Netflix show Everything, Everything Sucks, Sucks which yeah. is an amazing show so because mm -hmm. like you said the New Edition story puts you guys in a certain light, but yeah. I love the fact that you guys aren't just relegated to just being, you know, the kids who mm -hmm. play, you know, New Edition. Mm -hmm. So, do you still worry about that? You know, being typecasted to a certain extent? Like, people may see the last OG and keep thinking, oh, that's young Michael Bivens. I mean, no. I, I, don't, I don't think that way. I, I think with certain people, they might still see that Michael Bivens, but I think they... They kind of because even with my like with my character Shazad and with me portraying Michael Bivens, we still have a lot of those similarities. Because mm -hmm. with that type of character, where Shazad's laid back, Michael was laid back. Shazad was cool, Michael's cool. Mm -hmm. So it's really still the same kind of thing. Yeah, but contrast with Michael's a little bit of a high head. Shazad <laughs> is like you know he rather uses his words and his intellect to solve problems before it results to, yeah. to violence, which is really really dope. But man. Yeah. Just got so many questions to ask you just because you know <laughs> everything that I've seen you do, you know, with the last OG and mm -hmm. the new edition story. Just gonna have a little fun right now, so <laughs> I don't want to mess up your checks, right. <laughs> but just for fun, uh -huh. who's funnier, Tracy, Tiffany, 
with Cedric. I can't even say that. You can't? No, nah, I definitely can't say that because... They just funny in their own way? That's hard. <laughs> in all three... Like, you just constantly got all three of them. Constantly just making jokes. And I could just imagine what didn't make, you know, TV. Yeah. Like, the outtakes of, you know, when you're in between scenes. And I could just imagine... Mm -hmm. You just like not being able to focus just because jokes are flying left and right, and you know between Seth <laughs> yeah, and it, Tracy, it, it would be a time where a you know we just we we'll had to stop between scenes and just start busting out laughing. You consummate pro. I couldn't. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't do it, man. I couldn't sit there between <laughs> Tracy Morgan and Cedric the Entertainer, and they pay me to you know pretty much act when all I'm doing is getting the free stand-up special between the both of them. Mm -hmm. But. You're holding your own, man. You're yeah. definitely doing your thing. And speaking of music, what kind of music are you into? Oh, uh, I like all types of music, man. All types of music. I can take it, bring it back to the '80s. Uh. '80s music, Temptations. Uh. Or I like, I do like a lot of R&B music. My grandfather actually put me on that. Um, I listen to a lot of hip hop music. My favorite artist is Drake. You know, I, I, '90s music, 2000s music. I listen to all genres. So, did you get more in depth? with 80s music working on the new edition story or was that something you just heard growing up i mean i got more in debt listening to new edition mm. doing a new edition project um but i when i was a kid and i was younger all i used to really listen to was that type of music you know um i was i, I was just always that type of kid definitely definitely same here man. grew up <laughs> listening to what your parents listen to yeah. and you kind of get a feel for you know your music taste <coughs> and you pass it along yeah. and so you, you hit to the game <laughs> so would you ever consider making music oh yeah yeah certainly making music <laughs> oh singing rapping what um rapping rapping and it's probably singing I mean, once again, you ain't learn how to sing <laughs> to not use it. You know what I mean? So I definitely respect it. But if you need feature, you know, hit me up. Yeah, you know yeah, I saying? got but you. I got you. I'm trying, I'm trying to, it's like this thing right here is cool, uh -huh. but you know, I got bills. So, <laughs> yeah, you know I got you. <laughs> we'll, we'll work it out. You know, you get you can holla, you know, Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, Mike. You know, uh, we, 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 we can do some things, man. I'm, I'm, once, once again, not about me. Not about me. Not about me. <laughs> But yeah, man, um, saying that, man. I'm just <laughs> like, far be it for me to not try to latch on to young talent. It's okay. That's, you, I, I know it's okay. If, hey, man, I'm only, prepping, here, okay? I'm only prepping you for Get what's back. going to happen. <laughs> Granted, I'm a complete stranger, but pretty soon you're going to have family members you didn't even know exist uh, <laughs> wanting things. Yeah. So rather it come from a stranger than somebody you know and love so mm -hmm. you could be prepped a little bit in advance. Mm -hmm. But name some of your favorite movies and TV shows that kind of inspire you to keep acting or like roles that you would eventually love to take on. All right, so TV shows, number one, will always have to be Power. That's going to always be my favorite TV show. Number two, I literally just started watching The Wire again because when I was younger, I did watch it, but I, don't, I, I couldn't remember it. So I started watching The Wire again. That's number two. Number three would be Empire. Number four would be, um, number four would be, all right, so right now, I'm, I'm kind of hooked on this TV show called All My Block on Netflix that literally Dog. just came out. I that just completed the whole <laughs> season. Not going to tell you what happened, just be prepared to cry. Yo. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah. It's funny enough because one of our guests, Tattoo Money, a few weeks ago, his song is actually uh, featured in one of the episodes of All My Block. <laughs> but show is amazing. Yeah. And then my number five would probably be. That, that new TV show that, that came out on Saw Murders of Tupac and Biggie. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I like that. So now we're going to move on to the movies. Number one movie will always be Dead Presidents. Number two, Get Rich or Die Trying. Number three, this is going to come at number three. Let's see. Um, Eight Mile. Number four. Yo, it's... It's a lot, because there's a lot of movies I watch. It's a lot of good movies I watch. Some of those movies are on my list. <laughs> uh, I think we're going to have to get, pull a Denzel, Denzel movie in there. You got to um, throw a Denzel movie in there. Uh, I can't think of that movie. I just saw it. I literally just watched it a couple of days ago, yo. Yeah, tra 
Yo, training day. Sorry, training, day. Yeah, training day. Yeah, training day. Yeah, training day. That's a solid list. <laughs> and number five would be, um, number five would probably be, I think we're going to have to go with a new movie that just came out. So I'm, I'm going to put my movie in. I'm going to put a new edition in there. Of course, of course, of course. You got to, you got to. I watched it, watched the whole series twice, bro. I, I binge watched one day, just didn't do anything. Uh -huh. And then when it was over, I kind of got sad the next week, like, so it's not coming back on. Mm -hmm. because, you know, once again, you guys did such an amazing job. And Thank you. Speaking of 8 Mile, so just to give you a look into how old I actually am, mm -hmm. when 8 Mile came out, I was in high school. So my sophomore year, and Eminem was my favorite rapper. So we didn't have school the day that it came out. Mm -hmm. So I begged my uncle to take me to go see the very first showing <laughs> of Eight Mile in the Theater. Uh -huh. So the fact that, you know, all these years later, me being and you being 15, mm -hmm. you know, for that to be a movie that, you know, resonates with you is actually pretty dope. So you being the age you are now, do you hope that actors looking up to you? We'll look at, you know, the last OG, look at the new edition story and go, yo, Dante's the reason that I got in the acting. Like, he bodied those roles. <laughs> yeah. That's something you aspire for? Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely, because even kids now, you know, certain kids I know now, they do look up to me. So, I, you know, as I get bigger, hopefully as I get bigger, you know, um, that keeps continuing. Oh, it's definitely going to happen, man. And <laughs> they definitely have the right person to look up to. Because once again, you're definitely doing it. Talented, got good head on your shoulder thank you and, uh, gotta thank mama for that <laughs> dante mama sitting down in the crowd we salute you for bringing this young man into our lives and into our television sets so i think that that might be it i don't want to keep you long because i know you're a busy man you know let people know where they can find you at on social media and all that good stuff all right okay so y'all can follow me at the real dante hoagland on my instagram Follow me at Dante underscore Miles Hoagland on my Facebook fan page. Follow me at Dante Hoagland on my actual Facebook page. And follow me on Twitter at Dante underscore Hoagland. And follow me on Snapchat at D underscore Rabbit 732. Oh, you got, you, got, you got to plug your show, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Make sure, make sure y'all watch the, uh, the last OG new episode coming out next Tuesday, uh, episode two. And if you didn't catch it, it'll probably be on demand. There you have it. <laughs> Before we get out of here, just want to thank Dante one more time. And when the cameras go off, if you want a dance battle, you know, I'm going to smoke. <laughs> kidding, completely kidding. Once again, there's been another dope edition of Pop Dust Presents. This is Dante Hoagland. I'm decent.